I was talking to my $500 million CEO coach and I asked him, what is the one skill that all CEOs have to learn? When you're a business owner, there's a million and one things that you could learn. CEOs can really do what they wanna do. You can craft your own job role. The problem is, where do you focus your time? There are plenty of business owners, CEOs, founders who are more sales focused. There's others who are more marketing focused and there's others who are more product focused, right? There is no one size fits all for business leaders. You don't have to be sales focused to succeed. You don't have to be product focused. You need to be what you're best at focused. In addition to the thing that you're best at, there's this one skill that you have to learn. It is the lifeblood of your business. In order to have a business and not an idea, you must generate income. And when you generate income, you are going to inevitably start gathering expenses. That's what is required to have a business. If that's what is required to have a business, all CEOs must understand the lifeblood of their business. So the one skill that all CEOs have to master, no matter whether you like it or not, is financial planning. Now, I'm not talking about like a financial planner who plans out your retirement savings and your investment account. I'm talking about the financial plan of your business, of your life. This is a skill you cannot abdicate. You can't delegate this. You can't go hire someone else to worry about it for you. It is the lifeblood of your business. So what I'm gonna talk about is how do you start embracing this fact and become a financial master. So you have 100% total cash flow confidence. So you know exactly how much your take home income is gonna be. So you know exactly what the value of your company is at every single point of growth. So you're never shooting into the dark like most business owners are. Well, the first step is to build mental awareness around the finances of your business. How do you build mental awareness? Well, just start logging into your bank account every single day. When I was getting mentored by Grant Cardone, he told me that he logged into his bank account every single morning. His team would then send him financial reports every single morning so he'd know exactly how much cash he had on hand, how much revenue he was projected to do, so he was never guessing. Now that simple action right there can have such a big impact because when you're staring at your bank account every single day, it creates more mental awareness around your cash situation. The second thing to start doing is to every single day, start looking at your annual goals. I store my annual goals in an Excel spreadsheet. I've had a financial plan for myself and for my business every single year for the last six years that I check every single week. I don't check it every single day, but there was a point in time where I did. When I first got started with this process, I would look at my annual goals every single day. Now I look at it weekly because I have a vice president of finance at my company, but I looked at this every single day to see was I on track or was I being delusional? This is something you can roll out today. I call this the revenue equation. You reverse engineer from what you're your revenue or your income goals are. All you do is you take your revenue goal and then you divide it by your average transaction value. So if you wanna do a million dollars in annual revenue, if your average client pays you $10,000, you would need 100 clients in order to reach your goal of a million a year. How are you gonna get those 100 clients? Okay, well you're gonna get those 100 clients by marketing your business or signing people up directly through sales outreach. So how many leads do you need? How many people do you need interested in your product or service in order to generate 100 clients? And then what percent of those leads are you gonna turn into a signed customer? So for example, if you generate 1,000 leads, 1,000 people interested in buying your stuff in the next year, and you convert 10% of them into a signed customer, then you have your 100 clients and therefore each client pays you 10 grand, you have a million dollar business. Pretty simple. Most people never put this simple math into a financial spreadsheet and map it out and say, okay, how many am I gonna get in January, February, March, April, May? Dreams without a deadline are hallucination. You're hallucinating if you don't put this stuff on paper. Marketplace doesn't care what you dream about. The marketplace cares what you have documented and claimed to the universe will happen by a specific date. And the way you do that is through your annual strategic plan and you check in on that every single day and you compare your actuals, how much you actually made, 
to what is in that plan. And eventually, you're going to reach the plan if you pay that much attention to it. The next thing that I want you to do is I want you to log into your profit and loss statement daily. Once you start your own business, you have a profit and loss statement. That profit and loss statement shows you money in, money out. It shows you where you're collecting money and then where your outflow expenses are. Look at your profit and loss statement every single week and if not every single week, every single month. You have to start looking at this and understanding the data so you can stare what's working, what's not working in the face and make strategic decisions around it. This will transform your business. This will transform your ability to lead into your future and have the financial freedom that you want from your personal life, from your business, if you just practice this habit. This is not optional. Because of that, it is a skill that you have to learn whether you like doing it or not. As I've grown my company to now 100 employees, there's this constant process of having to, I call it upgrading my identity, where I have to look at myself in the mirror and ask myself, what's the stuff I hate doing and what's the stuff I love doing? And I do that through an activity inventory. Over time, as you grow a bigger and bigger company, you take the stuff off your plate you hate doing and you do more of the stuff you love doing. The interesting thing about financial literacy and financial planning for yourself, you can't delegate this out even if you hate doing it. It's the one thing that's gonna stick with you. As soon as you stop paying attention to it, your profits are gonna go down. Your cash flow is gonna become less predictable. This is something that has to stay at the top of your priority list if you never wanna worry about money again. I heard this from my $500 million CEO coach. I fought against him. I'm a creative. I hate doing the number stuff. But if it was all easy, everyone would do it. Everyone would create multiple eight-figure businesses and become multi-multi-millionaires. But the fact that it's not easy is your competitive advantage. It's your reason that you can succeed here if you learn this skill. Mark my words, this has changed my life. It's what's contributed to me hitting my growth goals every single year. Two years in a row, we are in the top 1,000 fastest growing companies in the entire United States. You can look this up publicly online, SMB team. We build our company using this exact process, but it starts with you as a leader committing to this as a mandatory skill that you must learn. So go master the skill, log into your bank account, log into your annual financial plan, log into your profit and loss statement. If you don't have a business, great. Create a profit and loss statement as just a personal budget for yourself. Track the money in, track the money out, and you'll never worry about money again. I'll see you in the next video.